Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Uh, today, according you can see by the title of the video, we are having a look at a newish release, certainly of this year, 2021, uh, from Hermes. And this is a, a request, so I had a look on eBay and I found this little 12, I think it's a 12.5 sort of miniature tester bottle, if you will. So I thought I'd pick it up, I think it was about £10 or something delivered. Uh, and as I say, this was a request, so I thought, you know what, it, it sounds something that I might be interested in. Um, so, I'm going to have a quick look at the box. There's the box. Here is the bottle. It's okay, you know, it's it's a little different. You've got some a little bit of information, I don't know if you'll see it, but it's there on the back. And nothing fancy, it's got a bit of a Hermes logo there. Nothing nothing particularly fancy, it's got Hermes on the, on the bottle itself, in the glass. So it's, you know, the H24 there. It's not too bad of a presentation, you know, it's, it's okay, it's okay. So, as I said, this one came out in 2021. Um, and uh, it's classed as a green aromatic. I sort of agree with that. And there's not many notes uh, listed for this, but it's the ones I've got is clavisage metallic notes. Narcissus, Narcissus, I think it's called, I don't know. Uh, and rosewood. So when you first spray this, it reminds me of a couple of things. One, it's got a similarity to Terre de Hermes Eau Fresh. Now bear with me. Terre de Hermes Eau Fresh, if you take the orange out, put a little bit of more of a greeny note and a slight sort of, what I would call like a grapefruit vibe. Just in the opening, for the first hour to hour and a half. It also reminds me of this one. Uh, it's Atelier Cologne. And it is uh, Sidrat Evinrant. I've never known how to say that. This has actually got my name on it. Because um, <laughs> I had a big bottle plus this free. And um, so it also smells like this in the opening. Uh, if you take away the cedar. So if you took the cedar out of this. That's what this smells like on the top. And again a bit like Te de Hermes El Fresh when you first spray it, if you take out the orange and put a bit more of a, a greeny vibe in uh, with the grapefruit. So that's what the opening is like and, it's, and it, it tends to be like that for the first, as soon, as soon as you sort of spray it. Give it about 15-20 minutes uh, and you still get the vibe of these other two but a bit more green comes through and a fair bit of that clary sage. Uh, and that's pretty much what it's like for about an hour and a half. Now after that, once it gets to the dry down, and this is where you get a bit, I wouldn't say bland, but to my nose, it just smells on the dry down. Again, this is about an hour and a half or two hours in at the most. Um, like a very nice, light, watery, uh, fresh grapefruit. And that's about it. Yeah, that's all it really smells like on my skin. A very good quality, light, refreshing, watery, transparent grapefruit. But that's all it actually does on my skin. So it's it's a little different on the first when you first spray it and the first sort of hour, hour and a half. But then it to me just goes to that nice, good quality, fresh, clean, watery grapefruit. Now that's where the problem is. Now longevity and projection. The longevity on this is very good on my skin. Uh, this lasted me easily 12 hours. I just sprayed it on the back of my hands for the first day I ever tried it. And went to work. I put some work gloves on, on and off a fair few times. Uh, I came back off work after about 9 hours. Uh, and I sprayed it a couple of hours before I went to work. And when I got back it was still there on the back of my hand. Now I'd been sweating a bit. Let's say taking the um, work gloves on and off, and then it was a few hours before I went, uh, and, and so on. I was there for a good about nine hours, so I drive back and drive there. So, you know, it, it'd probably been on my skin 
somewhere around 11 to 12 hours and it was still there it was still punching well I say punching it was still there on the back of my hand and anybody who tries things on the uh, fragrances on the back of the hand know that that's probably one area that fragrances don't last that well but that lasted a good let's say call it 12 hours and it was still there on the back of my hand so I would say that the longevity is good now the projection is a different thing this is one if you like a nice clean fresh scent that's a bit closer to the skin more personal it's not a big pusher for the first hour it's, it's okay it's average but it just comes a bit closer to the skin but I have been wearing this all week just so you know so on that I would say this is a nice summer scent as most people would probably agree with it is just just got that nice fresh summery sort of vibe to it uh, anybody could wear this it's just got a completely unisex feel to it there's nothing feminine there's nothing masculine it's just pure just fresh uh, citrusy sort of uh, scent to a little herbal uh, in the first little bit um, so any age could wear it any uh, probably any time you know well, I'd wear this casual in the summer um, it's just got that sort of casual summer kind of scent to it as again any any age probably any occasion but I would, I would wear it more more casual so uh, I think a full bottle of this 100 mils is somewhere around the 65 pounds because it's still reasonably new so it's not going to go down too much anyway because it's a Hermes fragrance now if you want and this is a recommendation if you want the dry down on this if you like the dry down that just that like fresh clean uh, citrusy grapefruit watery vibe then you can get basically the dry down on this a lot cheaper by just buying this Azaro Fun this is the dry down of this so if you if you like this but you like the dry down after the air and a, it is different from this top this uh, this top for the that first uh, initial spray and the first hour and a half is a little different but once after that's gone it's just to my skin to more to my nose it's just grapefruit this is just grapefruit pretty much a fresh clean watery grapefruit now to sell and it's a lot cheaper you can get this somewhere around the 25 pounds or something like that and you're paying 100 mils 400 mils this and 100 mils of this is like 65 and the end result is pretty much the same so you know, uh, am I going to get a full bottle of this? No, it's a bit too simple for, for my taste. Not the biggest fan of a grapefruit note. Now, the grapefruit isn't a, a note in this, but the overall scent, when it dries down, smells like grapefruit, is, if that makes sense. Um, and it doesn't really smell of anything else to me. Again, that's after the initial hour and a half, though. It's a little different before that, but after a year and a half the rest of the time that it's on your skin to me just smells like a nice good quality clean fresh grapefruit but you can get that dry down right here for a lot less money so overall i do think it's a good quality scent the the the, the, the quality is here um, everything smells good and clean and fresh in my opinion i think this was probably due to be a hermes Unjardine, is that how you say it? Unjardine um, sort of take, or one of those for the, for that line, and maybe they decided, oh, maybe we'll go with something something new, call it something new, different bottle, not put it in that line, because uh, that's the kind of thing that it smells like to me personally. It smells like it maybe fit in that Unjardin or Jardine line uh, of the fresh the freshies that you can get from Hermes. It does smell like it maybe uh, would fit that line, but they've bottled it into something new. That's that's my opinion. I think that maybe that was thought about with this. Maybe it is just a new thing, but that's how it comes across to me. So I like it. I think it's, uh, again, a good quality scent. I mean, it lasts um, a good length of time, but there's just not enough there, especially in the dry down. It's just uh, a plain, pretty good quality, but fresh, clean grapefruit which I can get somewhere else and I have somewhere else for a lot cheaper um, but uh, I personally won't be buying a bigger bottle of it it's it's just a nice grapefruit scent uh, once it dries down and that isn't enough for me I like a bit more complexity than that 
especially for £65 a bottle. So that's it, that's my quick review of Hermes H24 or H24. A fantastic, good quality, freshy scent, but at a, a good price tag and nothing special when it dries down. Again, you can get something much cheaper. Let me know if you've tried this in the comments below. I'll answer you as soon as I can. Have you tried it? Have you not tried it? Whatever the comment may be, I will get back to you as soon as. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon on the next video.